All right, we're back to uh, part 12 or 11, not sure yet. Hi everybody, uh, Joe back here again. We're on that second piece. So uh, this one, I'm gonna let you see me sand a little bit because uh, maybe you're brand new at it and you're really not sure. So my last piece, I went ahead and used like a, it was a 240 grit. Uh, it's just somehow I ended up with that when I ordered it on a site. Um, that's what they had, so I ordered it. Uh, but now I'm gonna, I got a 220 and I got a 120. And really, either one of them works for, you know, uh, final coat. Uh, 220 is just a lot, is, you know, uh, smoother than the 120. Uh, this particular board's got some issues with it, and I just do not want to hit it anymore because it's green. We want to try to get out some of the stuff, so we're going to start with a little bit heavier grip, 120, um, and then kind of work our way through it. Um, what you're doing now is you're going to, you're, you're pretty much even, you know, trying to, I don't want to say even out the colors all the way because this is, you know, a salvage board. You don't want it to be perfect. But when you start running through machinery like the planer, they got little heads that, that roll around on them, right? So it could leave wave marks in the wood, if you will. And you just kind of, you want to get that out. Um, in this case, it's all brand new wood. Like the best thing to do is you put it through a drum sander. And a drum sander is very similar to that planer, except it's just a big sander, right? So you put it through, it's done in like, you know, in less than a minute, right? So this will take me maybe five minutes to sand out. Um, I don't know that I have enough memory on my phone to watch, let you do the whole five minutes, but we'll see what happens here. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put my mask on. Uh, I did it. I went ahead and switched paper because that 120 already seemed like it was blown out. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, last sandpaper, which was 240, didn't feel that great. So new sandpaper will get you better, quicker results. And there are better dust systems here, guys. But just let me know that this is something you know for you guys just starting out. Uh, we'll help you out. And right now, I just don't have the room for a whole shop dust system. And I, I you know. And I like to be a little bit mobile, and so I have uh, four different shop backs that I keep up to machinery, and it works, it does the job. Um, so, here we go.
you've seen or maybe heard, uh, I forgot to turn the vacuum on for the first half of that sanding, so uh, that is a downfall of using this over a dust system. But we have what we have, right? So, okay, so you just see me work on that a little bit. I was going back and forth. I was getting the waves out. You see me going in circles, and you see me come back and with smooth direction. All right, so if I if I was using a belt sander, um, I probably, it would have been a different process, right? Um, I'm not using a belt sander. I'm using an orbital sander. And even when you're using an orbital sander, you want to be very careful that you're not digging little pits into your surface, um, and what you can do. Um, but... Just be careful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this part, and I'm going to finish it up, and we'll look at the end product.